It is finally here, week one of the college football regular season for the 2014-2015 season. The Oklahoma Sooners are coming off that big 45-31 win over Alabama in the Sugar Bowl to see if they can live up to how they played in the Sugar Bowl last year with starting quarterback Trevor Knight, former quarterback Blake Bell moving over to tight end, and new 6'6", 225-pound receiver Doriel Green Beckham. And we have to see how the Sooners adjust today, and it should be pretty good. The Sooners come in to start the season ranked number three, and they have high hopes for this season. High enough hopes to actually win a national championship, so that is what they will be competing for every week. Let's get this season underway. Michael Honeycutt is lined up, and he's running towards the ball, and this season is underway. And we have to see how the Sooners do today as Lee catches it and just kneels it in the end zone. And let's go ahead and get this season started. Scotty Young comes out in shotgun, and he runs a play action. First play of the season, complete to Carlos Henderson, who gets a nice 19-yard gain on that one. Sooners defense did not have a strong start, apparently. First and 10, Young drops back again, throws and finds St. Julian, who breaks a tackle and then is brought down. 10-yard gain on that one to bring up second and inches. On second and inches and shotgun on the next play. Young. Read option. He's going to run it with himself, and he's got the first down easily. 11-yard gain on that play. Okay, so the Sooners defense is off to a pretty shaky start here. In shotgun, Scotty Young drops back under heavy pressure, but he finds Dixon, and Dixon is fighting. He gets an 8-yard gain to bring up third and two for the Bulldogs. Scotty Young comes in and shotgun again on third and two. He takes a snap, and it's a read option again. He goes to the outside. He's easily got the first down a lot more inside the 10-yard line. A 19-yard gain by Scotty Young. And so far, Louisiana Tech is having a very impressive drive. Third and goal, he drops back, and he is sacked on the play. And that would bring up fourth and goal for the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, and they would have to kick a field goal. So the Sooners come out for their first offensive possession. First play of the season, handoff to running back Keith Ford is a negative one-yard gain. Not starting off too well here. Second and 11 now. Trevor Knight takes a snap and he drops back. He's looking, but he is sacked on the play. So the first two plays of the season are not looking too good. Third and 19. Trevor Knight and Pistol takes the snap. He's dropping back. He's looking deep and he's got a man deep. And it's Sterling Shepard on the 30-yard diving reception. What a catch by Sterling Shepard. And that was not who I was expecting to be down there. I was expecting Green Beckham to be down there to make that catch. But now it's second and ten. Knight drops back. He's looking. Throws. And it is Deron Neal who makes the catch. Breaking tackles. Three. Four almost. And he had a 27-yard gain. So the Sooners offense is also moving very strong. Second and 11. Knight drops back. He's looking deep again. He throws deep. And he has Deron Neal inside the five-yard line. So now on first and goal, Trevor Knight under center. He pitches back to Keith Ford. Ford is stopped short of the goal line. A two-yard gain. He's down at the one-yard line. So now on second and goal, Trevor Knight hands off to Keith Ford, who's able to walk into the end zone that time. Touchdown, Oklahoma. They get the first score on the season. And that feels really good for the Sooners, especially that drive. Now their defense just needs to improve. Second and four, Scotty Young under center. Hand off to Dixon. Dixon to the outside, and it doesn't look like they improve very much as Dixon gets a 23-yard gain on that play. Second and nine, now Scotty Young in shotgun takes the snap. He drops back in. Scotty Young is met by Tapper in the backfield. Loss of eight yards, third and 17 for the Bulldogs. Scotty Young takes a snap and drops back. He's looking deep, and he gets it off, and it is picked off by Taylor. And Taylor at the 20 and breaks a tackle. And then he is brought down at about the 25-yard line. And that is the first turnover that the Sooner defense has forced this year. And that's big. 7-3. to three, About a minute to go in the first quarter. And he hands off to Ford and he has stopped. So they have not been able to get the running game going yet. Five carries for two yards for Keith Ford and a touchdown. Now on second and nine. Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight rolling out to his right. He's going deep, and there he is, Dor Doriel Green Beckham, a 32-yard gain. And he put that out a little bit more in front of him. That could have been a touchdown. It would have been huge. Now second and 21 after a holding call. Trevor Knight drops back. He's looking, and he throws it's Blake Bell on a negative one-yard reception. So Blake Bell's first catch is not too impressive there. 
Third and 23 now. Trevor Knight needs to come up with something big. He drops back. He's going deep, and it's Doriel Green Beckham in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And to me, that throw right there just proved Trevor Knight is for real this season, that his play in the Sugar Bowl was not just a fluke. So now it's 14-3, and Scotty Young on a read option. He is sacked in the backfield. It was actually not a read option. It was play action. My bad on that one. But that would bring up second and 18 for Louisiana Tech. And now it's third and 16 a couple plays later. Scotty Young in shotgun, takes a snap, and throws. It's caught by St. Julian, who is hit right before he can cross the first down marker by Hayes. So that bring up fourth and inches, and they'd punt the ball. So 14-3 to three now. Hand off to Keith Ford. Ford, that is his longest gain on the day to this point. Seven yards. Eight carries, 21 yards for Keith Ford. Third and three. Trevor Knight in shotgun, takes a snap. He's looking, throws, and finds Smallwood on third and three to find a seven-yard gain and a first down for the Oklahoma Sooners. And now Trevor Knight in shotgun again. About five minutes to go in the second quarter. It's a read option. Trevor Knight's going to keep it himself, and that was a very good cut move. And he gets an 18-yard gain on the play there, and that was a tremendous play by Trevor Knight to get those few extra yards. First and ten, Knight drops back. He's going to run it, and he's got a lot of room in front of him and a few blockers. And he's got a 15-yard gain on that play to get Oklahoma inside the red zone. This offense is now moving very well. So on second and four, handoff Keith Ford. Ford up the right side, and he's breaking tackles. Third and two, only a two-yard gain on that play. 11 carries, 29 yards for Keith Ford. Not off to a great start here. On third and two, handoff to Ford. Ford up the middle, and he's barely got the first down to make it first and goal for the Sooners. That may have been all they were trying to accomplish on that play. Now on first and goal, Trevor Knight. It's a play action, and Knight is going to run it, and he's into the end zone after tripping over his own blocker, but that's a touchdown Oklahoma, 21-3. The Sooners over the Bulldogs right now. 21 unanswered points from Oklahoma. Now Young throws, and it's caught by C, and he is brought down fairly quickly to bring up fourth and three for the Bulldogs, and they punt the ball right back to Oklahoma. Now on second and ten, Trevor Knight takes the snap, and he's going to Blake Bell, who's got his first positive gain on the day. 15-yard catch from Blake Bell. Now on first and 10, Trevor Knight under center. He takes a snap, hands off to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle. He makes a cut move, breaks a tackle, and he is brought down after a 10-yard gain on that one. About a minute and a half to go now in the first half. As they have the first down, Knight drops back from here. Trevor Knight going deep, and he's got Deron Neal. And that is a 15-yard gain on the play. A minute to go in the half now. Trevor Knight in shotgun, takes a snap, and rolling out to the right side. And he lobs it up, and it's Micaiah Quick in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 28-3, the Sooners over the Bulldogs. So far, Trevor Knight has played amazing football, throwing two touchdowns and running for one. And now under a minute to go. Scotty Young drops back, throws, finds Turner, who makes a cut move, makes three Sooners miss. He gets a good block. And he's off to the races, and no one is going to catch him. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. The entire Sooners defense was just completely embarrassed on that play. There was absolutely no excuse for that. Right there, there are three Sooners, and none of them can catch him. So now that's making it 28-10. to 10. The Sooners are still winning, but they're showing some sort of life. Now under a minute to go, Trevor Knight drops back, and he overthrows Dorio Green Beckham. That would have been a huge play, possibly a touchdown for the Sooners. Had he been able to get that pass under control. Now third and ten for the Sooners in shotgun. He drops back, throws it to Ford. Ford's easily got a first down, makes a cut move to the outside, and he has brought down 27 seconds to go for the Oklahoma Sooners. And now on first and ten, under 20 seconds to go now. Trevor Knight going deep, and he's got Dorio Green Beckham inside the ten, breaking a tackle, and he is brought down at the three-yard line, and the Sooners would call a timeout. 12 seconds to go, handoff to Keith Ford, and he walks into the end zone. 35-10 to 10 now, Sooners over the Bulldogs. So the Sooners answered very quickly for that one long touchdown. Now five seconds to go in the half. Scotty Young drops back. He goes deep, and it is picked off by Hayes, and that's going to take us to halftime. Right now, the Sooners are playing very good football. Trevor Knight has played amazing so far. But you've also got to realize this is Louisiana Tech, and we have yet to hit the hard part of the schedule where we play Texas and Texas Tech. And next week, we even play West Virginia. So 
That's going to be very tough, and that's going to be the proving point of the year. This is just pretty much a warm-up game. 35-10, handoff to Keith Ford now. Ford has got a 7-yard gain there. He's been off to a slow start, but he may finally be getting something. 15 carries, 51 yards. Knight is sending Ford in motion. He takes the snap, and he's looking deep again, and he finds Micaiah Quick out across the 50-yard line. 350 offensive yards today for Oklahoma, and that is two catches for 29 yards for Micaiah. On first down, he drops back on a screen. He throws to Ford. Ford's got a first down a lot more. Had that one guy not tripped him up, he would have been gone. Now on third and two, Oklahoma's still up by 25 points. Knight is going to roll out to his right, and he's got the first down a lot more. He's hit, fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Louisiana Tech. So that's Oklahoma's first turnover on the year. Not really the stat you want, but you figure it's going to happen at some point in the year. Might as well happen while you're up by 25 points. And now with about six minutes to go in the third quarter, he sack fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Grisham at the one-yard line. So they immediately make them fumble the ball right back to get the ball back to their offense on the one-yard line. Huge hit there and just great awareness by Grisham to dive on that ball to get the offense the ball back. And now on first and goal, he hands it to Alex Ross, who fights for the touchdown. And that is the first touchdown of the second half, 42-10. to Sooners over Louisiana Tech right now. Scotty Young in shotgun drops back. He throws and he finds Dixon. Dixon trucks the Sooner player, but then he is caught. Bring up fourth and five, and that ball would be punted to Oklahoma. Second and six now. Trevor Knight handoff to Keith Ford. Ford's fighting, and he's got a decent five-yard gain on that play. Ford has 17 carries for 59 yards right now. On third and inches, Knight keeps it himself, pitches, finds Ford, and he is brought down fourth and two, even after breaking the tackle. Couldn't make anything happen on that play. That option just broke down so quick. Second and three now. Scotty Young takes a snap from shotgun. Throws deep, and it is caught by St. Julian, who is forced out of bounds. 15-yard reception for him there. First and ten. Scotty Young takes the snap and throws. He found by C, and he has the first down. 14-yard gain on that play. And Sanford C has two catches for 19 yards, and that is so far their star receiver on the year. And now they're going to run a hurry-up offense as they need to score as quick and as fast as possible. So in shotgun, Scotty Young calling audibles with about three minutes to go in the third quarter. Young takes the snap, and he drops back. He throws and overthrows his target, Zach Sanchez, on the coverage, and he has three tackles on the day. 14 for 23 and 190 yards for Young. Young drops back again, throws, and overthrows his target, but 86 didn't even reach for the ball there. So I don't really know who to blame on that one, but that would result in a field goal attempt, and the kick is away and way far to the right, and I don't even think that thing had the distance. We'll go back and look at the replay to see if it did, and it's on its way, and obviously it's far right, and I do not think that thing had the distance for it anyway. So now on third and seven on Oklahoma's next drive, he hands it off to Keith Ford. Ford is then brought down after a three-yard gain. So another three and out for Oklahoma, they'd punt the ball to Louisiana Tech. They, the Sooners cannot get into this habit of three and outs on the second half. And now he throws and finds Henderson, who was brought down after a four-yard gain there. And the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs are just pretty much at this point playing for pride because a 32-point deficit is hard to overcome. As St. Julian has hit and drops the ball, fourth and six, and they would punt the ball back to Oklahoma. And now nearing the end of the third quarter, handoff to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle. He's broken a tackle, and he spun down eight-yard gain there. And Ford has 21 carries, 64 yards, and two touchdowns, averaging three yards a carry. Second and two now. Knight play action. He's going deep for Blake Bell, but he overthrows him, or Bell stopped on his route. Something happened there, and there was miscommunication. So now on first and ten, a couple plays later, Trevor Knight takes a snap on shotgun. He throws deep, and it is picked off by Brown. And now that is not the way you want to start the fourth quarter, but Trevor Knight throws his first pick on the season. Second and two, Young drops back, and he is sacked by Tapper. Third and ten, Scotty Young had a seven-yard loss on that play. The Sooners only scored one time that entire quarter, and now Young throws, and it is tipped down by Zach Sanchez, who gets his first deflection on the season, and that's pretty big there. Ball back to Oklahoma. Hand off to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle, and he's got a five-yard gain. Ford stats now, 23 carries, 74 yards, and two touchdowns, averaging 3.2 yards. So on third and five, Trevor Knight drops back. He's looking. 
Knight throws. It's caught by Shepard, but he drops it on the play. So once again, another three and out, and they go back to Louisiana Tech. About six minutes to go here. Scotty Young drops back, throws, finds Dixon. Dixon holding off an OU player, but then brought down eight-yard gain on that play, and they would run no huddle here on first and ten. He is 19 for 32, 217 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. I tried to say that really fast and screwed up. But 217 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Young drops back. He throws, and it's caught by Dixon, who was then forced down second and three for Louisiana Tech here. They come to the line again in shotgun. He drops back. He's looking. He throws, and it is tipped down. Could have been very easily intercepted by Stan Von Taylor, who would have had his second pick on the day. Third and three now. Hand off to Lee, and Lee has the first down. Lee's got a lot more than that, too, and he is finally brought down after a 20-yard gain. Hunter Lee just gashed the defense on that play. Four and a half minutes to go. Scotty Young takes a snap, and he throws, and it's caught by Gary, but he's knocked out of his hands. So I bring up third and 13 for Louisiana Tech. They come to the line on fourth and 13, still trying to pull off a huge miracle. Scotty Young drops back, throws deep, and it is somehow not intercepted. And that ball would go right to Oklahoma. But how did Stan Von Taylor not catch this pass? It hit him right in the hands. We can't do that too much once the conference play starts because Big 12 will eat you alive if you can't play defense. First and 10, handoff to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle, and Ford has a first down, and that's probably his biggest run on the day. Ford now, 24 carries, 87 yards, and two touchdowns. Two, two and a half minutes to go, handoff Keith Ford again. Ford's got another decent gain, seven yards there. He may be trying to build up to over 100 yards. He's only five yards away after that very rocky start. Handoff to Keith Ford, who is up the middle, and he's got a huge hole inside the 20 and brought down 25-yard gain, and he is over 100 yards easily on the day. Great play there to break about two or three tackles just to get over 100 yards after that very, very slow start by Keith Ford. Now on third and two, Oklahoma under 10 seconds to go. Handoff Keith Ford. And that hole was big enough. It was really hard for Keith Ford to pass it up. So he decided to walk into the end zone, get three touchdowns on the day. It started to look like a really bad day for him, but it quickly turned around. Three touchdowns over 100 yards. Great day to me, it sounds like. 29 carries, 132 yards, three touchdowns for Keith Ford. Great day for him. All in all, the offense played really good today. There's only a couple things we really got to work on, and that's probably dropping the ball and overthrowing receivers. Doriel Green Beckham had a tremendous debut as a Sooner, catching a huge touchdown pass. Probably could have caught a couple more had Trevor Knight been a little bit more accurate and had a little bit stronger of a throw on one of them. But all in all, today was a great performance by the Oklahoma Sooners to come away with the win 49-10. Defense had a couple rocky showings, but like I said, all in all, we got the win by 39 points. I'm happy with it. Next game is against West Virginia, so hopefully you come back for that game. And if you like this video, please leave a like and comment if you choose to. But yeah, just come back for next week and have a great day.